okay good afternoon students so today we are going to discuss about concept of population sample sample size and sampling methods this topic is very important for research purpose if you are going to begin any kind of the research or as well as for examination purpose good so now we'll from discussion points what are the discussions in this lectures so we will discuss this following points like start from the populations we will first understand what is the population how we will define the population then we will discuss about sample and then we will discuss about sampling mechanism like sample sampling unit sampling frame sampling fraction interval error and non sampling and different kind of the probability and non probability sampling methods we will discuss in subsequent classes because it is not possible to complete this lectures within a one class it's required a time so now let's start from the first points we need to understand the population we need we know the population but how will define it actually as we know there are two terms population and sample as we know government of india conduct after 10 years a census to count the individual person who is living in the particular country and particular area so as per this concept we can understand population are census we are talking about for census census in a census we do the complete enumeration of the populations so for complete enumeration of the population we need to discuss first population so what are the things whenever we are going to plan any kind of the study we need to understand from where we need to begin so first of all we have to decide our target population where we are going to conduct the study means in which area so community whatever you are going to so your area first should decide so we are saying overall area should target population we are going to like greater noida or up or delhi or across the india if we are going to do the household survey for particular uh, objective so out of target population we need to define our study population this is our whole is target population so in this target population which kind of the study we are going to perform we need to understand first so you are going to understand about prevalence kind of the study or you are going to study uh, collect the samples for particular disease or any kind of the disease you have to decide being a researcher what is your objective so once you decide your study population out of the target population then you can think about the sample sample we considering the prior studies like pilot studies or published research article we can find out the preference so with help of that reference we can decide how much sample size required for this particular studies so for this study we can calculate with help of the different statistical methods we can calculate the sample once our sample is done then we can uh, according to our study design we can go ahead but now here our as a aim being a students first we need to understand what is the population how will you define the population suppose in examination question is coming define the population then what will you write so point is first like here written population is defined as an aggregate of the sampling units means or you can say a list of the sampling units all the sampling units mean each individual subjects in or in particular area community that is comes under the we can we can say we can define as per our objective it is a population otherwise you can define in different way a finite population has countable number of sampling unit that's next point or other way we can say the basic aim of any study is to generally known about the population for example inverse or overall whole population or sub set of the population so the meaning of population may vary from study to study 
it cannot extend it may varies according to your study for example if one wants to know about the specific aspect of the general population of delhi for example percentage of people suffering from the asthma at a given time all residents of delhi at that time is the study according to this example but it may vary person to person and objective to objective and different type of the topics now points is come if we know the population then what is the sample how will you define it so we can say a small portion of the population which truly represents that particular population that's why we are talking about the sample size sample size means with help of the sample size we have targeted already whatever sample size we are taking to collect the particular samples and that samples may be representative of the whole population so that's why we are saying here a small portion of the population who truly represents the population with respect the study characteristics it's very important we need to understand so of the population is known as the sample for example 100 persons selected randomly out of a total study population of 1000 person for estimating the mean blood pressure so that is kind of the sample out of 1000 so now considering the points we are starting at the no different we need to understand population sample and different kind of the sampling mechanism and then probability non probability sampling method so this chapter this topic is very broad we required a lot of the uh, number of the lectures to complete this topic but here we are going to just uh, uh, summarize here our outline for today's class this outline and what is the target population what is the study population and how we'll collect the samples then how to define the population and sample so that's all for today's we'll discuss rest point in next class thank you everyone